All right, guys, this is the Cisco RV042G gigabit dual broadband VPN capable router. We tried out a TP-Link similar version the other day. It wasn't gigabit. It wasn't cutting it. We're going to try this one out. Let's see how it works. We're going to show you what's inside of the packaging first. Let's get into it. So we've got a CD, it says read me first, I don't think we can read that CD first, it's got a quick start guide, gives you some different products that they offer in the ranges, some foreign language stuff we don't need, we throw that in the trash, and then this one's your technical support contacts for all over the world it appears, uh, don't really need that much either. Relatively simple in here, we're going to have power adapter very similar to a lot of the ones we see on these devices and then we are also going to have it's a very heavy little unit it is not rack mountable it appears that's a downside i put this thing on on the wall it's got your ports up front tells you how the system is doing runs like a self-diagnostic it's got the internet DMZ internet, DMZ mode, your ports one through four, and then uh, you've got model number there. AC adapter goes into this side, and you've got your ports on the back here. Internet, DMZ slash internet, so there's your two WAN ports, and then your four LAN ports. Wall mountable holes on the bottom, and your uh, serial number and information there. Not a whole lot to that thing. And then it comes with an Ethernet cable. So that's what's in the box. We'll get her booted up on the screen here in a second and show you what, what the uh, config looks like from there. Alright guys. We're going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge to show you the configuration of this dual WAN router. Um, up in edge we click on the top bar so we can bring up the IP address the IP address for this by default is going to be 192.168.1.1 uh, it looks like there's a sec security certificate error on this particular thing I'm um, not sure why but uh, we'll go ahead and continue to this web page it's going to bring us up to this uh, login the default login is going to be admin the default password is also going to be admin so we're going to log into that, guys. And that brings us to the main screen here. It's going to show us all of the stuff uh, that, that really matters. So we're using a cable internet with a static IP, so we're not connected actually to the internet right now. I'll show you that guy, uh, right now. Speed test. So as you can see, can't reach the page. Go back over here. So what we need to do is go ahead and get in here for the uh, IP address for WAN1. We'll go ahead and click on IP address. Don't need to really worry about most of this, but down here is where it's telling us what our IP address locally for this is. And then WAN1 is down here. We would want to click the configuration says obtain it automatically this would be if you have a dynamic IP we have a static IP and we're going to enter our IP address information on here give me just one second while we pull that information up and get her in here if we were doing a dynamic IP it would be relatively simple uh, you just leave it to where it was it would automatically pick it up we wouldn't have any any problems or worries on that um, makes it kind of simple you know when we're going through some of that stuff the uh, DSL connection that we'll use as a failover will be dynamic so we'll get address information we're going to start with the IP address portion it's going to be 75 
All right, my subnet mask is going to be a little bit different. We're going to have a... And my gateway address. This is probably a little more technical than some people will understand how to do, but if you've got a static IP, you should enter these settings at least once or twice in your life. So, all right, we got those in and uh, everything looks good. We're going to save. Once we save that, the icon will come back and bring us right back to this page. So now you're going to see WAN 1 is a static IP address. So we should actually be able to refresh the page and we can get right on here. Be exciting to see. Gosh, she's getting right there. One under, we broke the 100 mark now. 101, 102. Oh, so close. It gave us a speed of 101, but we're, we have a 100 megabit connection, so anything around that, give or take, you know, plus or minus 5 is great. So we are on a cable connection. You'll see down here in the corner it says Charter. Um, that's our local cable provider. So we're up to 10161 on this. That is an awesome speed. Um, what can I say? It's an awesome speed. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you share this with all your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Thank you again.